Okay, guys, one more quick note on uh, primary, secondary boiler loop. And, and the, these are uh, um, a special way of doing the plumbing now. I do have a class on it, but I have another picture I want to show you. These is the, this is the way of doing the plumbing now on the new high-efficiency condensing boilers. That's those light boilers that hang on the wall, not those big old 400-pounders that sit in the middle of the floor, but the light ones that hang on the wall. And I have a picture. This is actually from Wyoming McLean, but I'm going to go into detail with you on it a little bit so you can get a, a, a full understanding. Now, basically what they have here, and you'll be able to see it, this, Wild McLean makes this. By the way, that's the Wild McLean boiler. They make this for their boilers, but you can easily make this yourself. These are the closely spaced T's that we talked about within less than 10 inches of each other. The large 0014 circulator coming down right into the boiler, and then the circulation goes back out of the boiler. There's your relief valve, and right back into a check valve, or yeah, check valve, and this is your. This copper line here now is your main boiler water. And as you can see in my notes from the class, there's my three circulators for the three zones. Oh boy, that's kind of dark. There's my three circulators I added in pen for my three zones going up. And then the three return lines from the baseboards coming back. Okay, so that's your secondary loop. Your primary loop is the up and down with the closely spaced T's. And by the way, these right here are two capped off one inch copper lines. Just in case you wanted to add a domestic hot water heater, that's why it says DWH there and there. That would be a domestic hot water heater with a circulator pushing. And that would go right directly into the hot water heater and back. Out this way, back this way with a circulator. And that would be your domestic hot water and your heating system. All on this one simple, what they call primary, secondary, new system for heating. Okay, so I hope you get a good picture of that. And that should help you a lot. You could build this yourself. I mean, if you buy the Wild McLean boiler, you may want to buy that one. But you can easily build it yourself. Just keep in mind that these T's got to be very close together. Um... No more than four times the diameter of the pipe you're using. So if you use an inch and a half pipe, inch and a half times four would be about six inches apart. Okay? Primary, secondary. Lou Depot out.